Hello and welcome to another session of painting for fun, mindfulness and pain relief. I'm going to paint something that I paint very often. It is the number one thing I paint when I really just need to sink into my art. It doesn't need very much preparation. A lot of times I find that I want to paint but I get so focused on painting the right thing, not knowing what to paint, um, or painting something pretty, like I want to have a good result at the end, and oftentimes they can be a big barrier for even commencing, uh, particularly when I'm um, really sore or I'm, you know, needing art as a distraction. I don't want to have to put so much um, mental energy into it. So we're going to paint the Aurora. It can be the Aurora Borealis, it can be the Aurora Australis, which is what I'm going to paint. Um, and the purpose of that is just putting down colours, getting lost in the paint process itself and just really enjoying it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our horizon line about here. So we're going to have quite a lot of sky um, and our dark horizon line down here. So I'm just, I'm only going to wet where the horizon is going to be. There. And then we're going to wet our paper. Now I'm using um, Archie's Cold Press Block. 300, it's 300 GSM. So this is on a block, but when we work really wet like this, it will still warp. And that's okay. We're painting for fun, so we're just going to deal with it. So they're the first colour that I want to put in this. Look at that. This is Winsor & Newton turquoise and I'm just obsessed with this color so I'm just gonna let that water sink in just a bit a bit of the papers drying so we're using a nice big brush we're not gripping it very hard at all we're being really loose with our brush we're not craning over our page we're keeping nice and upright loose with our posture and we're making sure that we move often so let's get into laying some paint down. off our brush. How lovely is this colour? So pretty. So now I'm gonna use this Windsor Violet as my mid to dark tones. So I've used washi tape on the edges because I just I like a firm outline. And I find it does better than paper, uh, than um, painter's tape, particularly on the on our watercolor paper. I'm gonna put some Windsor blue in this too. Now. This is looking really quite bright, but that's okay because we're going to add darker colors soon. It's my two year old's favorite thing to say soon. If we tell him no, he goes soon. It's okay, mommy, soon. A funny kid. Okay, so that's looking really quite nice. Now, what we need to remember is that whilst these colours are really nice and bright, 
we need some sections that look that um, preserve our white page so just wash your brush have a bit of water in it but not too much and this will just lift that pigment out And having the water on the brush pushes the pigment away. If you don't have water when you run your brush, the pigment's just going to trace back in. Um, but if you have water, it'll push the pigment out, preserving that lighter section that you've created. We're just trying to make sure we do long, smooth strokes. And by fading them off into the distance here, we're giving that perception of depth. I'm just going to switch to a smaller brush. Keeping in mind when I use a smaller brush here, that I'm in danger of gripping more. So I just need to make sure I keep a nice light light grip on the brush Very good. now we're ready to darken this up a bit Now you can do this however you like. No one's going to say, oh, well, actually, I saw the aurora and it didn't look like that. Auroras look however you want them to. This is about playing with your colours and just enjoying the process of painting. Just going to add a tiny bit more of this green. I'm going to use a smaller brush because this holds so much that if we're trying to do small, you know, just work on a little bit, it's just going to dump so much pigment and water.
Okay, so my arm is really sore. So whether I want to keep playing with that or not, I'm going to leave it because this is about art for pleasure and therapy, not being perfectionist. We need to make sure we're looking after ourselves, most of all. As I say that, I'm just going to shore up this line. <laughs> and then you can do one of two things. We can wait for it to dry itself, or we can use a hairdryer. Now, considering that I am sore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to go have a lay down because that sounds like a great idea. And then we'll come back and finish this. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, and we're back. I've had a nap. Naps are important. Okay, so here I've got mixed up some indigo and some Windsor Violet. And this will see how nice and dark that is. Now we're just going to paint this solid. Now you want to make sure your previous layer is dry so that you don't have any bleeding in happening. And then we want to leave an ever so slight gap. Two different colors. See how a nice big brush covers that ground easily. There's an old saying it's best to get across difficult ground as lightly as possible and your big brush does that. So we just want to do a nice straight line and then there. Now just keeping very loose grip on the brush and just wobbling our brush backwards and forwards to make these little trees. I'm just gonna just putting in some rocky areas, some interest in the front here.
you know what? I want this one here. pause the video, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to add our stars. Okay, so let's get ready to do our stars. So what we want is an acrylic or a gouache white paint. Watercolour white won't work here. Watercolour white does it only um, makes our colours look pastel or you know, creams them up. It will not cover itself. So we need a different, this is white gouache. And now what you want, I've got another paintbrush here you can use a ruler or something and you just want to tap I'm just going to use my very thin brush. To dot in a few stars. And there we go. There's really simple painting to do that you can do like myself I'm not very physical today and I needed to get some painting done and I've got a nice little painting done without hurting myself okay see you next time